I'm a site to Deborah. And I am a Ms. Anakuni Rizia from the Department of Physics, often Geophysics. Okay, so we are here to present on mapping of the liturgical unit in the Fisia Valley in the Ashanti Gold Belt using aerodometric data. And we know very well that the Ashanti Gold Belt is one of the major gold mineralization areas in Ghana as it produces 60% um, of the gold that Ghana gets. And then it also contributes about 20% of Ghana's gross domestic product. In that case, it is important for us to maintain this economic gain from that area. So we have to fully delineate the geology of the area as gold mineralization in Ghana and in the world is controlled by geology. Our objective then was to use aerodometric data to delineate the lithological unit in the Priscia Winnie Valley, which is in our prosperous producing Ashanti Belt. This is our study area, that is the Priscia Winnie Valley, and then it's showing the geology of the place. And this geological map was proposed or generated by geologists. But in our study, we are using geophysical data, geophysics, to bring out a new geological map. So, as I said, we use our aerodometric data. And with aerodometric data, we centered on three radio elements, potassium, thorium, and uranium. From the total count of these radio elements, we process them into a ternary map. And then from the ternary map, we interpret them to get our new geological map. My so I'll continue from here. As she said earlier, from the radiometric data set, we're able to generate um, a potassium concentration map, thorium concentration map, and a uranium concentration map. So we combined all these three maps to uh, get our ternary map, and then we decided to interpret this map, and then we generated a proposed geology of the area. So this is the new geology. Um, generated based on geophysical data sets. Unlike um, our, deep, uh, our old geology, previous geology, here we saw a distinct uh, formation which wasn't found in the old geology. Although all the main rock types were still found, but then their locations varied this time. So the main um, formations that were recorded were um, meta sediments, meta volcanic. Bell-type granitoid and thorium, and then the reason why we were able to use um, the three radio elements to map is that they vary significantly with lithology. Hence, we can say that this um, study was successful using radiometric data to map the lithology. So, with the relevance of the society, is very relevant to our society in that it gives mineral explorers a good guide in mining. So, there is no need going to do try and error work but then with a good lithological map here you can easily spot out the zones where to go in for gold thank you very much